Welcome to your tarot messages for February video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome to Creative Psyche Studio if you're new to my channel. And welcome back if you're a subscriber. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for going on this tarot messages journey with me. We are going to go through each of the zodiac signs. I'm going to pull cards and relay messages that are coming through from spirit. I am also going to do a general collective reading for February. And as usual, I recommend if you know your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and other aspects in your astrology birth chart to tune into your sun sign and rising sign for general energy and guidance, your moon sign for your emotional life this month, and your Venus for love life. And if you know other signs in other planets and houses and are advanced in astrology, tune into those as well. So I'm going to go through each sign and we're going to have some fun, y'all. Let's get started. Let's, let's start with a collective reading for February 2023. What's in store for us, Spirit? What do we need to know for February 2023? Well, I'm just, you know, I see this vision of a lot of streams pouring into one larger river and larger body of water. I feel like February, just as I'm beginning to tune in intuitively here, Ooh, we've got page of ones and three of cups. I feel February, we're going to have streams of energy and consciousness and resources beginning to pool and the opportunity to pool different resources from different directions. Let's go deeper into this, shall we? Page of ones. Um, I feel like the universe is giving us this opportunity in February to sort of step up to the plate. Mercury was retrograde. We've got a lot of planets, you know, going direct now. Mercury is direct now. I feel like things are coming together and there's an opportunity to really make a statement, make a stand, create something um, to be able to manifest and to um, take visualizations and really find a practical way to express that three of cups for February. I feel like a message that wants to come through my friend for February is collectively let go. We need to let go and allow the energy to move through our mind and our relationships and to allow ourselves to be a little bit soft, you know, maybe, allow ourselves to procrastinate or allow ourselves to not know the answer. And then that leaves the energy for spirit to come into our life for things to come together. So it's like the, the natural flow of the water comes together and pours, you know, the streams come together and they, they feed into bigger streams and bigger rivers and feed into, you know, the mouth of the, of the ocean or, or lake, that larger body of water. So allowing these natural channels of inspiration to naturally guide us and which is really you know divine consciousness but allowing our imagination and our inspiration and our innovative aquarian ideas and piscean ideas because february is also um the sun turns into pisces so sort of get out of your own way and with your creative ideas you can make a mark and you can push them forward into the world and make change, make some positive change this month. Um, and part of that is having some fun, not over-focusing on them, um, allowing the inspiration of the group to, you know, ideas from other people to inspire you. And maybe, you know, your answered prayer is coming through a friend or a stranger or a something you hear on TV, something someone says. So open yourself to the visions and dreams and what you're what you're focusing on creating in your life, coming together and being guided by being open to how the 
how this project wants to come together and where you're getting the, the wisdom. It might be from a surprising place. I pulled Starseed Oracle, the courageous peony, multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. It's very multifaceted this month. So I'm going to pull one more card, but I feel like allow things to be multifaceted, but in a natural way. And I just, I just dropped like, like 20 cards y'all but the ones that i held on to were the high priestess and the knight of swords so you know we gotta we gotta intuitively understand intuitively um that softness of the yin understand how to make our ideas known and to present our truth and it, it, it does feel like a very mental energy for February. It feels like a very inspirational energy. And that inspiration, I feel spirit is wanting to guide us, is wanting to express in some unexpected ways, in some intuitive ways, in some visionary, creative, non-ordinary ways. So allow that to express. And I feel like this is a really powerful month for allowing those those different channels and and streams to pour into this really big beautiful creation that we are creating so that was your general reading through the collective for february okay now that i picked up my cards let us continue with aries hi aries so nice to see you. So nice to connect with you. What do my Aries friends need to know for February 2023? Tuning into Aries. You know, when I'm tuning into your energy, Aries, um, it might be good to sort of walk away in order to Take a step back in order to take a step forward. Walk away in order to kind of disconnect and open your mind um, and kind of, what am I trying to say? Stop the circuitry. It's like you're in some circuits and this is a good month to take a break, walk away, switch gears, try something different, try something you haven't tried before in order to get your, get your genius idea. So if you're concentrating too hard or you're feeling like you're working on something and you're you're wanting to know the solution you're praying for the solution take a step back um refocus on something else that brings you joy let go you know what i'm trying to say is like let go let god you've got ten of pentacles and you've got seven of cups for this month aries so aries your general energy um I feel like it's it's nose to the grindstone for a lot of Aries and you're you're putting your money where your mouth is. Um, there's a sense of investing. And I feel like you're also clarifying what your truth is more. You're, you're, there, there's a clarification of your identity, who you are, what you want, what you want to say. I feel like you're getting more clarity too by being around a group. So sometimes you can understand yourself more when you connect with other people, um, counterintuitive, but sometimes when you connect with, you know, other groups, other people, other people's ideas, you understand what you like and what you don't like. So I see you doing that this month, Aries. This is also an abundance card. I'm going to pull another card for Aries invitation sacred geometry so we've got some portal energy here and you may have some spirit contact i'm gonna pull a angels and ancestors card for you i feel like one of the ways you can achieve abundance this month aries is through group consciousness and working with other people in a group Ooh, we've got shield maiden, make plans and focus. You are focusing more. It's a good, it's a good month to focus, Aries. Star ancestors, follow the voice of your soul. Trust your instincts, animal guardian. So those are angels and ancestors cards. So you've got some star energy coming out. You might be connecting with your star guides, star family, star ancestors, star friends, extraterrestrial 
beings of light, and you may be drawing on this energy to help you focus in and get clarity about how to follow the voice of your soul. I feel like there's also abundance, um, you know, helping you with, with financial success and career success to connect with the group and, um, you know, read, listen to, hear other people's ideas, allow other people to hear your ideas and, you know, network, collaborate. So I feel like that might open some doors for you. And then, yeah, your guidance this month, seven of cups, Aries. I feel like it's that take a step back. So it may be that it's really helpful for you to just sort of disengage from some, some pattern that's, that's happening this month for you. It could be, you know, at work or a relationship or even your creative or spiritual life, but just shift into more of your feminine, allow someone to help you allow spirit to reach to you and offer you the intuitive solution, but you have to let go and, and be receptive in order for that to happen. So disengage, you might just, you know, take a little step back, take a break from something and, you know, take a little vacation, take a little uh, breather, have some fun, and then notice how things are different when you come back to that situation that you might have a new perspective. Um, Aries, those were your cards for February 2023. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great February. Hi, Taurus. Welcome to the video, Taurus, tuning into my Tauran friends. What does Taurus need to know for, where are we, February? <laughs> what does Taurus need to know for February, 2023? Yeah, I, I see this vision of you climbing up a mountain. So there's, there's uh, focusing in on what you're wanting this month. So Taurus, you're ready to make changes and move on. I feel like in February, you have the tools, but there might be some insecurity. Um, I feel like a lot of Taurans, you need to, to foster your, your confidence. You need to um, take some time to maybe work on self-esteem and maybe some affirmations to, to build your confidence in yourself, your, your confidence in your abilities. Um, you know, and I feel like it's helpful not to take things so personally, Taurus, that that's going to help you this month. So fo just focusing on what you want and not worrying about, you know, if people are judging you or if people are liking you, um, just moving forward with what you want without, you know, without caring so much, um, baggage and heaviness about, is this right? Is this okay? Is this what my mom wants me to do? Is this what, you know, don't worry about it. Follow, follow the voice of your soul. You've got eight of wands, seven of swords, judgment, and four of wands here. So judgment, I feel like is saying Taurus, you're moving slowly, but that's okay. I feel like some Taurans are feeling kind of frustrated. It's like you're moving up that mountain, but you're not to the top. And why am I not at the top? So I feel like judgment is saying, allow yourself to be proud of the progress you have made. In February, you're trying some new things out and you're trying out maybe some new skills, talents, abilities in a new way. And to allow yourself to just feel out the, feel out the terrain here without worrying so much if you're making progress or if it's right. Um, I feel like you need to experiment with some new ways of thinking, um, applying your talents in some new ways, and this would be really helpful for you making that progress, but, but that's part of progress is we're, we're, you know, learning, so this might be a month of you learning, and to not overjudge yourself as you're maybe trying some new things or new approaches, and I feel like, you know, it's really important to us to be careful about who you surround yourself with in February, be really selective about who you're allowing to, you know, influence you, who you're allowing to, to whisper in your ear. You don't need to take everybody's advice. Four of wands.
and you know, this is kind of a repeated message already, but I'm I'm just going to say it because this is what I'm this is what I'm hearing. It, you know, that slow down energy that's okay. You've got a really fast energy, a really like coming on strong, making huge steps forward um, energy right off the bat card, eight of wands, but then you've also got a, a stationary card, four of wands. And this is a celebration. It's I've made it this far and now I'm going to stop and celebrate. And then I'm going to move on to, you know, the five, six, seven, eight. So you're sort of at the four right now in some way, shape or form Taurus. And it's okay. Stop and celebrate, stop and take a breath. Don't over push yourself and allow yourself to acknowledge how much progress you have made allow yourself to acknowledge um that you are on the way and you really are you really are so you know rome wasn't built in a day one step at a time i pulled sacred geometry earth grid for you taurus it, it feels kind of like a wandering energy like you're exploring you know i see you exploring the earth and, and exploring the mountain um, you're exploring different options this month in order to arrive at a better system, a better approach, a better results. And I feel like that's going to really help you see new things is exploring physically, maybe going to a new place, going to a new physical place, you know, exploring sacred earth energy and sacred earth sites. And that could even be just a place in your garden that you feel a good vibe. You know, it doesn't have to be, um, you know, going to the pyramids of Giza or what have you. So allow yourself to wander, allow yourself to explore Taurus. You've got fire guardian, ignite your passions and she wolf unleash your wild within follow your passion and, and do what makes you um, feel inspired and happy this month, Taurus. So don't worry so much about, you know, the other stuff, my friend. And, you know, you have successes and victories to celebrate coming up. Um, so, Taurus, those were your cards. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed February, and I will see you next video. Take care. Next up, we have Gemini. Hi, Gemini. Tuning in to my Gemini friends. Does Gemini need to know for February 2023? Some Geminis are, are <laughs> maybe you felt a little bit used or jerked around or mistreated and you're ready to put your foot down. What does Gemini need to know for February 2023? Okay, you've got the moon strength, nine of wands and high priestess. I decide I'm gonna pull four cards. Gemini, I feel like you're wanting to unleash something. You're wanting to prepare to do something, but you're waiting for the right timing. Moon is about timing and you're um, waiting for the right time. I feel like you have some momentum built behind something though. And it feels like um, you're, you have courage to, to um, put your foot down. You have courage to initiate something. You are building something and creating something and um, you put some work into something, maybe your worth into something. And, and you're about, to, I feel like a lot of Gemini's are sort of like about to um, unleash this um un unroll it unfurl it um allow it to flow out strength is your challenge card gemini for february so this is confidence and i'm feeling like you know confidence is the key this month for you it's also a challenge um i feel like you know part of this this strength energy it's it's a very you know strong kind of energy that's coming through you're negotiating and nine of wands your guidance card here is asking you to put something on the back burner while you um figure out the logistics of maybe the timing of what you want to um start 
put forward, um, unleash. So, and, and spirit, what is it that Gemini wants to unleash? I, you know, this could be, um, relationship that you're kind of holding back in a relationship until, until things are, um, uh, shifted into place in order to move forward. It could be a project that you're working on as well. Um, and it could be a leadership position that you're going to be stepping up to more of a leadership position, but not until things have shifted. So nine of wands is guiding you. Um, don't take things personally. If things don't like fall into place exactly as you saw them, that doesn't mean that things are, are, it's a, you know, quote failure. Um, moving forward, knowing that you will, that you will achieve your goal in some way and having that faith and that patience. This is also a card about patience. Um, patience is your strength, you know, that faith and confidence and, and patience. And there's going to be a good opportunity coming for you, Gemini. So don't worry, be patient. And it is coming and the, the right timing, trust yourself, trust your intuition to sense that here's the high priestess intuition. So, and I feel like some Geminis might feel like they're not taken seriously or like people are not recognizing them. Um, and it's important for you to speak your truth. So it's important to um, align yourself with the people and situations who respect you and to respect yourself as well. You know, going back to that confidence and that self-esteem, respecting yourself as well is going to help you move through any um, obstacles and barriers. Uh, we've got Owl Raven, Yin Yang. So balancing your masculine and feminine Gemini. So here's that Gemini, you know, part of you is this way, part of you is that way. Part of you wants to, you know, push things forward, maybe, you know, be more outgoing, extroverted, even aggressive. Part of you wants to sit back, sit on your haunches, wait, watch and wait, you know, the yin. So I feel like spirit is guiding you Gemini for February to definitely have both. You want to watch and wait. You want to, you know, hold yourself back and wait for the right timing of something. Um, maybe wait until um, the right offer presents itself or the right, um, the right energy that, you know, you've learned something or developed something to the point where things are ready. Um, but you're also, you know, being asked to not give up on moving things forward and keep the faith around that. So there's that balance, you know, the yin yang. Yeah. So you got three of swords and ace of swords. So, so this is, you know, you might be grieving something, letting something go. There might be an ending um, involved somewhere, but then you've got such a strong card. One of the strongest cards in the deck, ace of swords. This is about strength. And, you know, here you have strength emphasizing this is overcoming obstacles. You're going to overcome obstacles. You, you know, you have that miracle energy to overcome any obstacle and succeed. So, so don't give up Gemini and know that, um, there's something around the corner for you um, that is very auspicious. So those were your cards, Gemini for February. I hope you have a beautiful February and I'll see you next video. Take care. Cancer, hello my moon children friends. Tuning into Cancer, what does Cancer need to know for February, 2023? What do my Cancer Friends need to know for February, 2023. Okay, we've got the star, the empress, 10 of swords and the chariots. So yes, I'm pulling four cards this time, this month, this video. So, you know, and I am feeling like that feminine fun energy around you, but then you've also got, you know, some intensity. So the star, yeah. Cancer, February, 2023. I feel like you're putting something behind you and moving on. And 
I feel like it's it's a, it's a card of allowing that this is a good month to allow things to just you know dissipate, allow things to um, unfold, and it's it's a month of just allowing and accepting. Um, you're able to to let go of some old energy, maybe let go of some things from 2022. Um, and I heard you know I heard July when I tuned into you, so. Um, I'm not quite sure if that means July 2022, maybe letting something go or something coming up in July of 2023. But um, I feel like it, it's, you know, a good month to be able to just release what's what's not yours to carry and maybe some, you know, releasing from the past cancer. I feel like there's a parenting energy around a lot of cancer. You know, it's a sign of the mother. And here we have the Empress, the card of the mother. So, so we've got some mothering. That's your challenge card. Um, cancer, what do you need to do to mother yourself this month? Um, it might be, you know, a combination of taking charge, but also being sensitive. That is the mother speaking to you right now. And so get some things done this month, but don't, don't overtax yourself. Cancer is one of the things I hear. You might want to get some things done. You might want to be in a hurry and move things forward, but the Empress is guiding you to slow down, be in the moment, pamper yourself, um, allow, you know, mother yourself and allow yourself to enjoy the moment and the pleasures of life. You know, a good mother doesn't just berate you and tell you, you know, what you need to get done. You need to do this, this, and this. A good mother does encourage you and have boundaries and, and sometimes is the bad cop and, and it does discipline you, but she's a, a good mother also knows how to encourage you and to lift you up and to soothe you and to comfort you and to nurture you. So nurture yourself. Don't, it's not all work and no play in, in February. 10 of swords is your guidance card. Cancer. I feel like, you know, with something you want to get done this month, you need to allow other people to help you. Um, this is going to help you get it done. And um, I'm going to pull a sacred geometry card for clarity here. Steam cave. So relaxation, people, relaxation. Allow, and you know, this is, this is mother earth. This is going into the deep into the mother earth. So, you know, allow other people to help you and don't burn yourself out by trying to do something, um, by yourself when you, you really would do better to reach out for help. There might be some intensity with, um, emotions this month. Something might come up with, you know, an, an emotional storm I'm hearing of some sort. This might be around you. It might be, you know, in the collective or someone, you know, and, um, so I feel like the 10 of swords is guiding you to, um, allow someone to maybe vent or grieve and you can be very nurturing to them. Um, allow the, um, emotions to express, but then also, um, you need to take turn expressing your emotions. So make sure that you have a place to express your truth as well. And this is, you know, expression and, and your, your throat chakra, your fist chakra, make sure you have a place to, you know, a friend or a therapist or a priest or a shaman or a tree. I don't know. You have someone, some entity that you can really vent to yourself. Um, cancer. I feel like a lot of cancers, you want to get stuff done around the house. <laughs> I feel like a lot of moon children really want to get stuff done around the house. You're motivated to make changes like cleaning or maybe renovating or organizing or doing something around the house. And maybe it's, it's work and maybe it's your office, but it feels like a lot of cancers want to get a lot of things done, like physical things, cleaning, organizing. Um, and it's okay to take a rest. I feel like, you know, is, is, um, one message that wants to come through, but also organize yourself. So if you want to get some projects done, be sure and come up with a plan. Don't just throw yourself into a task and, and, you know, or, or try and do 10 million things at once, come up with a plan. Oh, I want to, you know, reorganize the basement. 
So let me break that down into smaller increments. This week I'll do this. This week I'll do this. Today I'm just going to focus on this. So so come up with a plan and organize yourself. And you know it might not be your house. I'm just getting that for a lot of cancers. It might be you want to do some organizing with your house. But whatever project that you're wanting to move forward with, one of the ways you can make more progress is to organize yourself and and schedule in breaks as well. Schedule in some breaks for yourself, my friend. I'm going to pull an angels and ancestors card for you, cancer, cancer for February. Hi, father, trust in the unknown. So here's that organization. We've got the yang coming in with, with organization. And I feel like, you know, you might be, um, some cancers might be planning a vacation of some way, some, some form or another, some way, shape or form. Um, you might be in contact with some influential people, some cancers, you might be, um, contacted or be in contact with someone even famous, someone, um, with a big presence, a high reputation. And I feel like um, you're able to learn quite a bit um, from this contact, a lot of cancers. That's the message that wants to come through. So don't be shy. Introduce yourself. And I feel like you can make a lot of progress learning from others. Um, there might be some someone you really admire that you're learning from, that you're in contact with this, this month in February, cancer. Um, I'm going to pull a... Starseed Oracle, you got the love, Hadarian energy, codependencies, boundaries. So yeah, Cancer, that mothering energy, set those boundaries. Remember to set the boundaries. Don't just be, you know, don't just be the, the giver, also be the receiver and make sure that, you know, things are balanced in relationships. So it's not just you giving and giving and giving. Star Keeper, Cosmic Ancestor, Seed the Light by Staying Grounded. Messenger, Serious Energy, Bring Harmony and Balance. You've got some messenger energy. So it also might be a month where you communicate a lot, where you're maybe doing some writing, where you're um, speaking your truth. You might be expressing it through, you know, creative endeavor. Um, and I feel like you can be actually really nurturing to people with your expressions this month, Cancer, in whatever um, expression wants to come through, form of expression. So Cancer, those were your cards for February 2023. Thank you for tuning in. Have a beautiful February. Hi, Virgo. Tuning in to my lovely Virgo friends. What does Virgo need to know? for February, 2023. Some Virgos are might, might be in the spotlight this month. And I also see a vision of a library. It could be Virgos are doing some research, reading, learning. You might be improving a skill by, by um, doing some, some uh, learning or taking a class, or it could be an informal learning. What is Virgo need to know for February, 2023 spirits. Okay, we've got two of cups, nine of cups, five of wands and page of cups for your cards, Virgo. Very cuppy, very cuppy uh, February, Virgo. I feel like Virgo, some of you want to take center stage, have the opportunity to say, take center stage, but you need to find someone to help you to do that. And when I say center stage, um, you'd like to make yourself more known. You'd like to put yourself more out there. You'd like to do what you want to do, manifest your, your desires in a more direct, active way. Um, you, a lot of Virgos might want to be heard. You have an instinct to be heard this month. And, you know, it might be really helpful to partner with someone in order to manifest your desires this month in order to make your dreams happen Virgo your challenge card is nine of cups so 
So with the nine of cups, um, you know, sometimes it's difficult for you, Virgo, to just enjoy the moment. You want to make progress. You want to, you know, make sure that you're um, moving forward and that you're not lazy. And this is a card of laziness and it's the challenge here. So it's kind of a repeated message this month, but allow yourself to be a little bit lazy this month and don't push yourself too hard and make sure that you're recognizing the progress you have made are making. And this will help you actually make more progress and manifest more progress to really, you know, marinate in um, the feeling of how much you have accomplished. So, yeah. So February Virgo. And I feel like this is also allowing someone to help you so that you're not doing it all yourself, but you're being receptive and allowing someone to help you. Five of wands is your guidance card, Virgo. So with, yeah, with the five of wands, Virgo, there's, there's some things that you realize you need to put into place. And here might be the learning, the nine, the, the library I saw. You need to put some things into place in order to achieve your goals. Um, so be patient with yourself as you're zeroing in on, on what you need to do. Um, I feel like with the five of wands, pace yourself one thing at a time. Um, you know, this is a card of change. It's a card of competition. Um, it's a card of challenge. So overcome the challenges by pacing yourself really, you know, um, allowing yourself to not be over busy to take some breaks. And you can actually make progress when you're charming and when you charm the right people and when you, you know, you're not just presenting the facts or, you know, trying to convince someone to buy your product or to go on a date with you or whatever by, you know, Hey, look at, look at why you should, you know, do this here, here are all the analytical facts, but also just by being your charming Virgo self and just you know, here's the charming Virgo self and just having fun and doing what brings you joy and making conversation. Um, so think about, you know, achieving your goal, not just through um, the, you know, the practical analytical side to it. Um, the, what am I trying to say, you know, over-focus on doing, but, but repeated message is coming through with a, a number of signs this month allow yourself to just be a little wild and crazy, be, you know, lazy for a little bit and, um, sort of mess around and, um, just have fun with, with yourself, with other people. And you might have more balance and more productivity this month as you're doing that page of cups is the final result card for you for February Virgo. So you know, you might be aware of what changes you need to make in order for something to prosper for you this month. You might be aware of, um, you know, what, what changes you need to make in your routine or what you need to, um, you might be more aware of moving some things aside in order to emphasize other things this month. Triangle. So visions, um, Dreams, goals, visions is your sacred geometry card, Virgo. I feel like you're trying new things and don't be afraid to just have some experiments in your life. You know, take a new class, meet some new people, go to new events, and you're trying new things in order to find out what really makes your heart sing. So it's okay if not everything is, you know, not everyone's your best friend or, you know, not every, um, not every date is a love match and not every uh, job is your, you know, dream job. You're trying things out. And so, you know, this is a good month of just trying things out, Virgo. Um, and I feel like there's magic in the magic in the experience of not knowing and of just being spontaneous for you this month, Virgo, um, tuning into your imagination, your vision. It could be a really powerful month for creative visualization. 
Druid, hold the space, sun, enjoy success and happiness. So you've got some success and happiness cards. You might have um, a wish granted. You might have some unexpected success somewhere, Virgo. Um, I feel like, you know, people are really going to want to hear you. People are really going to want to um, see you and notice you this month. And, you know, like I said, it might be really helpful to partner with someone in order to um, create something that you want to create. So that could be, you know, a mentor or just, you know, a friend or someone you contract with. Um, Druid, hold the space. There's this very spiritual energy for you, Virgo. So I feel like, yeah, with the vision, it's like, hold your vision, hold the vision. Triangle is all about visions and, um, what your imagination, what your super consciousness is bestowing upon you as your, as your dream, your vision, your goal. So Druid is, is guiding you to hold the space, but to hold it, not to hold it too tightly, to hold it loosely, to hold it with some openness. So your boundaries are not closed with your vision. Your vision is you're holding it, but you're holding it with some softness and um, that you're pacing yourself this month as well. But I feel like, you know, you could really manifest this month, Virgo, um, you're working with higher energies. I think you're working with solar energies here. Weight of the world, boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. So let go of that world on your shoulders, Virgo, is the message that wanted to come through with the Stars 8 Oracle. Lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. And that might have to do with you learning the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. So you might have some really powerful visions this month. You might be discovering talents that you've used before in other lives or another time in this life and just exploring different, different parts of yourself. Um, so remember not to, you know, overdo it, my beautiful Virgo friend. And, um, you know, I think this could be a really beautiful month for our relationships as well. I feel like a lot of Virgos are, are just really good, um, offer a lot of healing presence in their relationships. We've got Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. Um, you're someone I think others can rely on and, and it's a beautiful month for you to be there for someone else. Um, and someone in your life might help you to slow down and smell the roses because you need to do that a little bit this month. Virgo and, um, and, and to, you know, balance that yin yang, um, moving forward and action and stillness. Um, so Virgo, those are the cards I'm getting for you. Those are the messages I'm getting for you for February. Um, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next video. Take care. Okay, we're now connecting with Libra. Hi, Libra. Libra. What do you need to know? What do my Libra friends? Ooh, we've got some. We've got some cards pulling overboard. Interesting. King of Pentacles with some other stuff. We'll king, we'll keep King of Pentacles out. What do my Libra friends need to know for February 2023? Like some Libras are going places and doing things. You're you might be doing some traveling local or long distance, but you're, you're moving around. It feels like an active energy. And I feel like some Libras are breaking the silence. Like you may have been holding something in um, a little bit more withdrawn and, or quiet in some way, but you know, it feels like a collective energy too, that, you know, we're a lot of people are um, moving the energy outward and speaking, speaking up, speaking our truth more. But it feels like that for, for some Libras. What does Libra need to know for February 2023? Okay. And the tower did fall out and it's fallen out again here. We've got six of pentacles, eight of cups, the tower, a knight of swords, and king of pentacles also fell out earlier. 
So Libra tuning into your energy, Libra. I feel like a lot of Libras are just, you know, you're ready to take action steps to move forward again. Six of pentacles is, you know, we're, we're balancing the energy. We're balancing the giving and receiving. We're balancing the, um, the, the flow here. And so I feel like you're shifting the flow. You're ready to move forward with something. This could be monetary. Um, and you're ready to not be so shy anymore. I feel like a lot of Libras, you know, you're, you're, um, you're realizing your abilities more and you're realizing how you want to um, express yourself more in February. Eight of cups is your challenge card. Ooh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> Passed. I think Sonia Shockett says when she sneezes in a reading, that means like extra pay attention. So extra pay attention to this, even though I didn't quite sneeze Libra. Eight of cups is your challenge card, Libra. So I feel like, you know, this is a card of leaving something behind. Something didn't work out or something is, you know, not working out and just let it go, leave it behind. It's, you're not meant to push it. Um, you need to refocus and not worry about maybe there's, you know, some people who don't understand what you're doing or approve of you, or, you know, something that you tried didn't blossom like you wanted, just let it go. Don't even, don't even waste your energy pondering too much about this. Um, try and remember your worth and, and regain your, your self-esteem and you don't need to put too much stock into whatever that is. Tower is your guidance card, Libra. So with the tower, I feel like there's new hope and some changes. Um, you're being asked to let some things go in order to let new things in and you find more, you find more of what you're looking for and more of your true heart's desires as you can um, disconnect from the lower energy around you or the energy around you, put another way, the energy around you that is not for your highest good to really connect with. Um, so that could be other people. It could be, you know, other um, groups. It could be, you know, goals you've had before that you changed your mind. You don't have the same goal. It's like you're going to unleash something. And, and this is also a card of um, revelation and sudden, sudden insight and sudden awakening. So, but I think with the tower, you know, the tower is about shifts and changes, sudden changes. Um, it's like, you have to allow something to fall in order for the new, the new thing to arise. And I feel like it's sort of like a reset button for you in February. You know, you're, you're realigning yourself. I'm going to pull a, a clarifying card for you, Libra. And you're, you don't need to take something on. It feels like a big month of just letting something go in order to regain your power. Um, temperance, yeah. So it's another card of, you know, you're sort of like making room for something in your life. It's like you're pushing something forward, pushing, you know, something sort of falls to the back. You push something forward. This is one of those months where you make, you have the opportunity and spirit is guiding you. Make some shifts. Temperance is another way, you know, we're rebalancing the energy. So there's a flow of, um, there's a flow of energy that you might be readjusting. Um, that could be in your relationships. That could be in your schedule. It could be, you know, what you're, what you're emphasizing, what you're focusing on, um, work finances. But I feel like the temperance here together with the tower is, um, you reformulating a plan. It's like you're letting something go and then you're reformulating a plan to move forward that's going to be even more powerful. And you're going to learn from the past and how to um and how to move forward just um in a more successful, joyful way. Knight of Swords is your final result card for February, Libra. I 
feel like you have a lot of innovative ideas and you're making progress by really listening to your innovative ideas and getting out and going to different places and meeting with new people. You know, I sense that when I first tuned into your energy, um, don't be afraid to befriend some new, new people, try out some new ideas. Um, you're working on different levels and higher levels and allowing new people and new paradigms and new ideas to help you break through barriers and come up with your, your genius idea. And um, you also just might have more personal stimulation from new people and going to, you know, social events and visit people and meeting new people. Um, allow yourself to be inspired by other people's presence. And it ups, upli uplifts you as well as when you're doing that. Okay, I'm just dropping all sorts of cards today, y'all. I don't know, just butterfingers. Elder, move beyond ancestor patterns, ancestral patterns. You might be letting go of some ancestral unhelpful patterns or baggage. Warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Oracle great teacher, traveler, move in a new direction. I feel like traveler definitely is uh, emphasizing the move in a new direction. Like a lot of Libras are doing just that. Snake, shed old skin. Okay. So you're shedding some skin this month, Libra, like in a really intense way. Magic guardian, you're going to unlock magic as you shed this old skin. Whatever, you know, you might be more aware of some even ancestral, unconscious, um, childhood, past life, some, some deep stuff around you. It could be, you know, in your culture, in your community that you've, um, you know, maybe some paradigm, some energy that's you've internalized. You really need to let that go. Maybe something from the past. So this is a month where you, you let something go and it could be, you know, some other component in your life that you really make big changes in your plans and, and um, re reorder the flow of things in order to um, move forward how you want to move forward. And yeah, King of Pentacles fell out for you, Libra. I feel like you know it's it's an energy of stability, of grounding. It's also abundance, and you being um, persistent and continuing to show up allowing people to just see what you do and allowing people to notice you using your skills is going to attract the right people this month, Libra, and attract abundance to you. Um, you're figuring out how to use your talents in a new way. It's a repeated message with a lot of signs, but I feel like it's really coming through your, you know, in the collective, definitely with you, Libra, you're figuring out how to use your talents in a new way and it's bringing you abundance. And you keep showing up confidently and, and the right people notice you. Um, you might make, make a pretty big change this month in your career, some Libras. Big picture thinking, Pleiades energy, visionary inspired ideas. I think I pulled this for you, Libra, for this could be for the year 2023 in last video, if I remember correctly. So you've got some Pleiadian visionary um, energy. Oh my goddess. Yes. Libra, you are pulling in amazing, inspired, creative ideas. I feel like you connecting with others this month is going to take it up even to a higher level. Um, you might have just innovative insights, creative visions, visionary ideas. And so you might just be, you know, really expressing your creativity in a beautiful way this month and seeing the big picture, you know, even if there's some little hiccups and changes that you make or that, you know, seem to happen to you see the big picture. Things are happening for a reason. Things are falling away for a reason in order to make room for you to put those new, better things into place and, and allow those better things to come into your life. Okay, Libra. So those were your cards, my friend. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed February. I'll see you next video. Let's continue with Scorpio, shall we? Hi, Scorpio. I'm tuning into my Beautiful Scorpio viewers and listeners. What does Scorpio need to know for February 2023? Tuning into Scorpio. I feel like some Scorpios are finishing some projects. And 
I'm seeing you just wanting to just like synthesize something, bring something together, like um, bring people into a project, make sure no one is left behind, bring other, you know, um, tie up loose ends, bring other components into a project and kind of streamline it, integrate it. It's kind of the energy I'm just getting, tuning into your vibe, Scorpio. I'm going to pull some tarot cards for you. What does Scorpio need to know for February 2023? Turn upside down. Okay, we've got the Tower, the Magician, Five of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. So some intense cards here. Got two major arcana to start out. So let's tune into you, Scorpio, for February. Like some Scorpios are wanting to leave something behind, but you're hesitant. So you're wanting to um, wrap something up or move on from something, but there's, you're negotiating with part of you wants to move on. Part of you wants to stay. And, you know, the tower is change and letting go sometimes uh, unexpected or sudden change. But I feel like um, that's the message I'm getting for you with the tower. Um you're ready to let something go, but it might be a process for letting something go. Magician is your challenge card, Scorpio. You have the power to recreate something in your life. You've got that magician energy, magis, magician energy. So know that as something falls, you'll be able to resurrect something um, better. Your and here's the integration again. Your you know the magician is integrating those four elements. Some argue. There's more than four elements. There's five elements, earth, air, water, fire, spirit, or if we use the Eastern paradigms. We include wood and metal. Anyway, I'm digressing. You're integrating the elements of something to recreate. And that is your challenge this month. And that is your strength. And you're maybe letting go of something and bringing something in to move forward um, and create what you, your heart's desire. We've got five of cups as your guidance card. Don't take something too hard, Scorpio. Um, you have the magic within you. Not everyone's going to, you know, see your magic. And I, it really feels like it's time to let something go. This is a card of letting go. It's a card of grief. Um, so you might be grieving, be gentle with yourself, be compassionate to yourself. You might be, um, letting go and processing your feelings. You might be, you know, you're so intuitive, aware of someone else's feelings. So I feel like the message with the five of cups is be there for yourself, determine what you want and move forward. Even if you have something, you know, that um, you hadn't expected to let go of or that you realize you need to let go of in order to move forward. Three of Pentacles is your final result card, February. I feel like Spirit wants you to get some things in motion. This is a work card. This is putting some things into motion. It's also an integration card, three. What are you integrating, Scorpio? So it feels like um, there's movement here. There's potential for prosperity, for um, opportunity, for things coming together for manifestation opportunities, like I said. And it just feels like, you know, put something behind you and move forward, Scorpio. I'm gonna pull a sacred geometry card. This one feels like it's for you, divine doorway. Beautiful. We've got the lotus and this angel and a doorway. So yeah, so Scorpio. You're not the same Scorpio. You're on a different vibe. You're a different, you're in a different chapter. You're a different person. You've, you know, ascended to a new level. Embrace that. Embrace that you are not who you used to be. And you have resurrected yourself as you're the new, better version of yourself. Scorpio 2.0, maybe, you know, 5.7. I don't know, but you're, you're another version of yourself and embrace that. And don't be, um, don't be ashamed of that or question your expansion of consciousness. You are a doorway. And as you do that, you're, you're connecting more with this universal 
blessings and divine empowerment. Cracked open. This is your uh, starseed card, starseed oracle card. Cracked open, rock bottom, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. Alchemy. Magic, magician. Notice theme here, Scorpio. So um, there might be something, there might be something, you know, challenging to surrender to the divine to with, with this month. But you've also got, you know, power, manifestation, major manifestation power here and the, and the power to create your reality. So there's a surrender too when we're, when we're creating as well, right? Those were your cards, my beautiful Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in a future video. Take care. Next, we have Sagittarius. Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome. Tuning in to my beautiful centaur Sagittarian friends. What do Sagittarius need to know for February 2023? I'm feeling some of you are having a guest. You're either going to be a guest or have a guest, but um, you might have some visitors, a lot of Sagittarians. I just, I feel like you are aware of your difference this month, that you're on a certain vibration. There are certain people around you on that vibration, but you're very aware of maybe another person or group of people who are on a different wavelength. And can you harmonize with that? And sometimes harmonizing means harmonizing and connecting. Sometimes harmonizing means letting go and, and disconnecting, um, detaching. So I feel that just as I'm tuning into your vibe, Sag. All right, pulling, pulling some tarot cards for you, Sagittarius. These are Sagittarius cards. What does Sagittarius need to know for February, 2023? Page of Swords, High Priestess, Lovers and Death. You've got three major arcana. So you might have some major energies happening. Sagittarius. Okay, so let's see. What have we got here? Major energies. Um, I, I feel like you've got some power running through you and some Sagittarian, they're a little bit hesitant to step into their power this month. So don't, is that you? Don't be afraid of your own power, my friend. Page of Swords, yeah. I feel like you, some of you might need to take a break, take a step back. Um, some of my beautiful Sagittarian friends tuning in, you know, may have been pushing too hard or trying too hard or, or not even too hard, just doing a lot. And, and so it feels like if that's you, take a step back, take a break. You need to unwind and, and recenter and really in order to clear your head. So you might have a cluttered head and maybe lack of clarity or things are starting to sort of, you know, accidents or little mishaps or little like, er, this is happening, er, that is happening. My vibe is a little bit hibbity jibbity. So if that's you, clean up your vibe by just <sighs> slow down, take a breather, take a break recenter, refocus. It'll clear your mind, clear your vibration. High Priestess is your challenge card this month, Sagittarius. I feel like you need to move out of your own way, the High Priestess is saying. And it feels like you have some things on the burner and um, it, it's how best to use your time and energy for focusing. Um, I feel like the high priestess is guiding you to look towards, you know, focusing, not doing everything at once, um, understanding how to work with the, with the flow of time and the flow of your attention um, and your higher wisdom. So, you know, using your higher wisdom to organize your time, not just, just, you know, unconsciously going from task to task without completing much, um, and this will help you to focus on one task at a time and complete a task and complete it to more of your satisfaction to perform better, shall we say, a task. The lovers is your guidance card. And so, yeah, it feels like it's a little bit lacking in clarity. So that can help you clarify. There's a lot of power, a lot of power, you know, on these cards that I'm feeling with you. The lovers is your guidance card, Sagittarius. 
it's almost like there's something you're aware of in in your vicinity. I'm going to pull a clarifying card for this. You're, you're, can you expand your awareness or maybe you're already aware that there's something brewing in the background in your life and you might have a vague sense of it, but there's something wanting to come through. Um, here he asks, Let's see, these are star seed oracle cards. Longing for home, homesick for the stars, earth, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Yes. So it feels like, you know, with learning to be human in the world, not of it, you're aware of that beautiful Jupiter expansive consciousness that is you, Sagittarius, and your connection with, with higher consciousness. And, and there's something from, you know, higher consciousness, from, you know, super consciousness, your intuition, your sixth sense that wants to come through and wants for you to integrate it and apply it. So tune into your intuition this month, Sagittarius, and don't be afraid to receive this powerful gift that the spirit is offering you. Don't be afraid to step into your power and use your gifts, talents. You know, don't be afraid if you're intimidating other people. As you advance, you help the whole system. You model for others how to advance and you allow the opportunity for you to be more authentic when you express your true potential. Death is your final result card. Change, transformation. So yeah, with, with death, Sagittarius, I feel like this month in February, it's a good time to just hold your own and be yourself. Um, I'm pull a clarifying card and allow transformation to happen. Even if it's a, a little bit uncomfortable or confusing, you're going through a transformation and there is something in your, your powerful intuition that wants to help you. And, you know, just keep moving forward. Yeah. Keep moving forward. Even if you're not sure, even if you feel like other people are judgmental or intimidated or critical, or maybe you're feeling sorry for someone or you're feeling insecure, whatever it is, I feel like the message is keep moving. Change is wanting to happen. We're in a time of great change and intense energy. And this is a card of just moving forward and holding your vision holding true to your vision and your, and your, and your desire and your faith, even as things shift and change around you or seem a little bit um, shifty or, or unpredictable around you know that your vision is, and your, your heart are true and the energy within you, the connection with spirit, that's eternal, that's true. And hold on to that um, inspiration and vision coming from your higher self, because it will come to pass as you're perseverant with it. Dancing prayer. Use, use your spiritual practice this month, Sagittarius. Use your prayer. Maybe dancing is, you know, how you tune in into your intuition and, and your instincts and that, that creativity and, and get into a positive altered state maybe it's something creative maybe it's you know your prayer or ritual practice maybe it's your dream dream work practice whatever it is tune into that higher consciousness and that can help you to get some clarity embrace the transformation and change that wants to happen because change is a coming um this month definitely all right, Sagittarius, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great February. Blessings. Hello. Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn. Welcome. Welcome one and all, all my beautiful Capricorns. I'm on the right sign, right? We went Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. We're on you, Capricorn. Don't second guess yourself, Anne. Don't second guess yourself, Capricorn. Tuning into your energy, Capricorn. What do my Capricorns need to know for February, 2023? Yes, and I'm, I'm tuning in and I'm feeling like... Um, rehearsal you're rehearsing something some 
Capricorns are rehearsing something that they want to present perhaps, that they want to um, be seen for. Um, so it might be a month of getting things together for a presentation in the future. So what are Capricorns? That's just the vibe I'm getting off the bat. Um, and, and it feels like, you know, more of an outward moving energy. What does my Capricorn friends, what do my Capricorn friends need to know for February, 2023? It also might involve getting out and playing. I feel like there's a, I'm seeing a theater, but I feel like the second meaning of the theater um, is maybe you're going to shows, you're going to fun things a little bit more. Okay, so howdy ho. Okay, we've got some stuff um, happening here, people. <laughs> we've got King of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Chower. Yes, so tuning into you. This is playful. The King of Wands is playful. So this is also theater, Wands, um, Passion Theater. And so you might have some just, you know, playful, passionate energy. That's also leadership energy. So what is, what are these cards saying cap for Capricorn, February, 2023? Some Capricorns, you might feel like you're moving slowly and you're wanting to get things done faster, but there's also room for um, clarifying what you want. And this is a good month too some things on the back burner while you focus on clarifying your goals. Um, so the King of Wands is helping with leadership. It's helping with um, taking action. It's helping with, you know, working with that fire energy. So Capricorn, I, I feel like, you know, you are working hard then, you know, here, maybe here is the playfulness with the vision of the theater. It's, it's also important to take a little break. And um, seven of pentacles is, that's the energy I'm getting for you. It's like, you've, you've come this far with something. The seven of pentacles is I've made it this far. And now I need to take a moment, take a breath, take stock, sort of decide how I want to move forward in what direction do I want to change courses? Do I want to um, come up with, you know, tweak my plan or come up with a new plan entirely. I feel like that's you. So things might be, um, you might be given the opportunity and I feel like it's spirit's guidance to you this month is it's a great opportunity to just, even if things feel like they're moving slowly, take stock, don't over push yourself. Don't over busy yourself, assess and clarify how you want to move forward. What's working, what's not working, what feels right, what doesn't feel right. Eight of Pentacles is your guidance card, Capricorn. I feel like, yeah, and this is part of maybe the preparation. It's like you're rehearsing, you're preparing. I feel like you could learn from some people. This is a learning card. Um, you could learn from some mentors, learn from classes, teachers. Um, they could be even like learning from peers, not someone who's hierarchically, you know, above you, quote unquote, formally, but just learning from others in your environment. And this can help you to clarify your goals and how you want to move forward. These are also abundance cards. So you have some financial um, opportunity and, um, you know, kind of as you shift out of desperation and shift into appreciation and gratitude, that opens the doors for uh, spirit to provide you with more prosperity. So eight of eight of pentacles is a good time to learn, to um, rehearse, to research, to hone your craft. And, you know, maybe even observe others, learn from peers. Tower is your final guidance card. This is coming up with a lot of signs, death and tower. So yeah, I think there's some big just collective shifts in energy and changes happening. You might, I think a lot of us are noticing big shifts and, and changes um, the last couple months, I've definitely noticed that. And so we're, you know, we're along for the ride. I think part of this might be uh, stuff happening with the planet Uranus and some, some shifts and changes happening 
um, things moving forward, but just collectively, you know, we can feel that planetary, we can feel that collective energy. So you've got the card of sudden change, also sudden revelation. So Capricorn, I'm tuning into the tower for you. I feel like it's a perseverance card. I feel like it's keep going, keep and this is a repeated theme. I felt this was Sagittarius too, but things might be falling and things might be shifting and changing and things might be ending or beginning. Um, things might be going through transformations around you. So don't let that, um, don't crumble with, with the ashes or don't crumble with the rubble or, or die with the ashes. You are a phoenix. You're going to rise from the ashes. You are persevering. Capricorn, you're one of the most persevering signs. Oh my gosh, right? And you can move forward even as there are shifts and changes around you. You can prevail and um, experience resurrection, rebirth, renewal, a renaissance. So just stay calm, especially if things are happening to people around you. Stay calm and uh, ground yourself. Remind yourself of you're never alone. You're always protected and supported. I'm pulling a star seed card for you. You're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. So you know what? If other people don't get you, good. It's good that you know now so you can move forward and let that go and make room for people who do get you. Right, Capricorn? So embrace your uniqueness, your weirdness, and just keep persevering. Um, you know, even if you get some some little criticism or or little you know challenges that pop up or changes i'm going to pull a angels and ancestors card for you capricorn spring see your seeds grow so keep going keep going with your visions reassess maybe you know you might want to come up with a new plan or tweak your plan for moving forward um tune into your playfulness and and make sure that you're looking things with a playful eye as well as practical. But the seeds that you are sowing will take root and have that long-term vision and foresight and, and persistence, knowing that you will continue your visions and, and manifestation practice and your prayers will continue to be answered and, and grow. And, um, you know, the the gears are turning in the astral plane for you. So even if you can't see it, Capricorn, the gears are turning. Capricorn, thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. Have a beautiful, blessed February. I'll see you next video. Hi, Aquarius. This is your time, Aquarius. We're in the sun sign of Aquarius as I'm making this. It show and it'll change to uh I see in three or four weeks, but my Pisces and my Aquarians, February. I'm, I'm making this video at the end of January, but February is a lot of uh, a lot of Pisces and a lot of Aquarians. So Aquarian, I'm shooting into your energy, Aquarius. You've got some big visions, Aquarius. You've got some inspirations. And a lot of Aquarians are setting your sights higher. It's a theme that I'm just feeling as I'm tuning into the Aquarian energy for February. I'm going to pull some tarot cards. These cards are for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for this month of February? It feels very future focused for you. Okay. Okay, we've got. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and Four of Cups. Got a nice array of elements here. So, so Aquarius for February. Like you're aware that there's more than meets the eye and you're wanting to integrate 
um, a higher perception, a higher vision, a higher octave of something. And you're working on maybe helping people understand seeing a bigger vision in something. Um, and you're wanting to, you're wanting to ground that. I think it's important to, you know, make sure you respect people as you're telling them your opinions, they might have different opinions. Um, and you do have a really broad vision Aquarius, but it will help things go better to um, express your opinion with appreciation and gratitude and openness to others as well. So you don't need to be, you know, right. You don't need to be the leader exactly you can sort of share the energy and the power and negotiate and collaborate more in february um but this is a you know a card of abundance and grounding and fruition and nurturing starting off the back for you aquarius i feel like you know some aquarians are getting your health in order and it's a good month to um, redesign some health regimes to bring greater vitality and health to you Four of Wands is your challenge card for Aquarius for February. <laughs> well, I think some Aquarians might have a FOMO, fear of missing out. You're aware of other people doing things and you want to be involved. And that might be part of the challenge for you in um, February. So Aquarius, you know, open, open your, be receptive to people reaching out to you. If you want to connect with some group or person or be more social, um, use your intuition who would be good to reach out. And you can actually reach out to them intuitively just, you know, by sending a prayer or intention. I'd like to connect with this person, um, without, you know, manipulating or, or getting in the way of their energy or causing any harm. Um, you can be receptive to their vibration. Um, so I feel like, you know, you connecting with groups is going to be really helpful for you this month, Aquarius. It feels like you need to make more, um, a lot of Aquarians might need to make more time space um, in their life for more of their, more of the things you want socially. It feels like you need to make time to connect with others and play. That's really important in February. Two of Pentacles is your guidance card, Aquarius. I feel like you're doing some, some juggling of some, some reflecting on relationships and um, reflecting on the relationship dynamics of if you want to keep a relationship a certain way or try and improve it or change the dynamic or even you know some might be looking at letting go of relationships but it looks like you're assessing your relationships you know it's a good time to assess your role why are certain relationships and patterns happening what's my role here how can I improve this um, I think some Aquarians you know you might want to be expanding your social circle and um, some Aquarians might be just, you know, deliberating, do I want to keep this connection or let it go? So I feel like spirit is guiding you. Um, it's okay if you need some space. This is a card of space for of cups here. It's okay if you need some space to, to kind of, you know, reflect and tune in intuitively to relationships and connections. And this could, by the way, be professional relationships. It also could be personal, um, Am I getting what I want, what I'm wanting in relationships is something that I'm, I'm sensing. So take, take some time to tune in and reflect. This is a card of meditation and reflection, reflect on what you truly want in relationships, reflect on what you can do to create that. So, it, and some of it might mean, um, you asking for what you want, you advocating for yourself, um, using compassionate assertiveness and communication. Um, it could also be you being more receptive. You asking for forgiveness, you um, making more compromises or understanding the needs of your partner, your boss or your friend, and, um, you know, maybe making some changes in how you relate. So that's the final result. So it's a good month to reflect on this. And I think you can come up with um, some really good insights about what's, 
what's happening here in your relationships. And I feel like, you know, another message that wants to come through Aquarius is don't give up that sometimes you need to start over and it's okay to start over. Um, you know, if, if there's a challenge that's coming up this month for you, you might do well to reach out for some help and support. You might not be able to figure it out yourself. And you know what? We try and do too many things ourselves, we humans. So if you're not calling on your higher power for help and support, call on spirit, call on divine consciousness. And sometimes you need another human or animal um, for help with understanding how to move through something. Eagle, see things from a higher perspective. I think you have eagle consciousness this month. In, you always do, Aquarius. But this month in particular, I feel like you have some expanded vision that's very high consciousness, very super consciousness. And it feels like you are trying to bring that into, have the opportunity to bring that into the group, into your relationships, into some organization. And it, you know, that might also be the juggling act here is how can I bring this higher awareness into my daily life, into my relationships, into this organization? I'm going to pull a star seed card. Of course, I'm going to pull a star seed card for you, my alien <laughs> friends. <laughs> You're the sign of extraterrestrials and aliens. What does Aquarius need to know? The cosmic heart. Devotion, potency, making your life a moving prayer. It's a very relationship month for you, I feel like, as well, Aquarius. So um, you can make some great progress in your heart chakra and your relationships. I think you might be able to do some physical healing and emotional healing and relationship healing. And um you know, tune into that higher consciousness, use whatever your spiritual practice is to get the help for doing just that, for tuning into the higher consciousness, tuning into the divine solution, the miracle solution, and for the hows and the support for the hows, the wins, the, the details for, for integrating it. So those were your cards, Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next video. Last but not least, we are making great timing, people. Great timing. I am tuning into my beautiful Piscean friends. Hello, Pisces. My beautiful fish. Tuning into your energy. Clearing these cards. These are your cards. Tuning into your energy, Pisces. And I see a sun a sunrise come up. I feel like there's a, a sunrise in your horizon, Pisces. Um, it feels like a lot of Pisces are starting over. It's, it's you know, something, ooh, we got nine of, nine of swords that popped out. You might be leaving something behind. Magician wants to pop out. Lovers want, we've got a lot wanting to pop out here, people. Yes, Knight of Cups. I'm going to pull four cards for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? But yeah, just tuning into your energy. I feel like it's a new dawn for a lot of Pisces. Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? Spirit, what does Pisces need to know for February 2023? Yeah, here's some new dawn cards. Yeah, six of swords, like moving on from something. Definitely the world. Ending one chapter, beginning another. Eight of swords, hanged man. Those are your cards. Pisces. Here's what the cards are saying for you for February. I feel like you're moving on from something, leaving it behind. You're working on maybe working with different people, creating a new project, letting something go and starting over. Um, and I feel like you're more in control in February. You have more of your like feet under you, your feet on the ground, and you're able to, you're just able to put things together easier. This is a card of things flowing together easier. Things were hard in the past. You, I think you, you're moving away from something difficult maybe in the past couple of months. Um, a lot of us, it's, it is something that's happening collectively. Um, and things are getting easier, you're healing, things are falling into place, things are just um, flowing together easier. That's six of swords, healing and moving forward. So it feels like, you know, this, 
this transition into the new dawn. Here's the world is your challenge card. The world is, you know, expanded consciousness, but also um, ending one chapter, beginning another. It's a portal. Um, it's a portal to a new world. So that's your challenge card. So, so Pisces, I feel like the world is saying, don't get caught up in the details. Um, you're moving in some new circles here and not everybody is going to get it or understand. And maybe you don't even <laughs> get some of what's happening. You're just going on instinct here. Um, allow the pieces to fall into place. Don't worry about it. If it seems a little bit, you know, out of control or precarious right now, or it feels like maybe you're, you're out of control a little bit in some way, and you're not sure how things are going to work out. You are working on creating this higher vibration and, allowing the energy in your Piscean way to flow through instead of pushing it, you're allowing it to flow through. And I feel like it's almost like you need to get over it and, and, and move on in a way. Now, if you've had some sort of tragic loss, I, I don't want to say that applies to you. If you've had a, you know, a loss, there's also the grief process and, and allowing yourself to go that through that process. But if there's something going on in your life where you're, you know, you're, over questioning you're over worrying you're hanging on you're clinging and you know you know it's better to move forward this is your sign let go um embrace the new dawn eight of swords is your guidance card pisces you were meant to do something better so don't don't sell yourself short don't aim too low aim high you know is this you are you binding yourself up are you um holding yourself back you got to, you know, think big, play big. I feel like that's the message it wants to come through. See yourself as the amazing, magical, expanded being that you are, the divine, powerful child of God, goddess, spirit, and allow yourself to break free of maybe some self-limiting beliefs, um, some hesitation to see yourself as big. The hanged man is your final result card, Pisces. It feels like there might be some timing things. So, so, and this might be timing too, that there's a sense of holding yourself back with, um, or just a sense of like timing, holding something back. There's the timing isn't right to launch something or for you to go for it in some aspect of your life. You're, you're in the process of working through something. So as you're starting this new dawn, that doesn't mean that you have to force anything or that everything's going to, you know, manifest from the etheric astral planes immediately. There's a natural process that's happening and there's a natural balance that's happening as we're um, attuning ourselves with, with the divine natural flow. So it's okay if, you know, some things are moving forward and you're seeing some new beginnings and other things, you know, you're, you're sensing you need to wait in order to take action. You can emotionally align yourself with a new dawn, with a new um, vibration, consciousness, goals, visions, identity that's coming through and have patience um, knowing that there's a right time and ask spirit to show you what the right timing is for um, releasing that, sharing it, launching it, actually, you know, taking action or for something to be um, unfolding that you've put out there, you know, you might be waiting for something to unfold, um, waiting for some piece to fall into place. And that's okay. That doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. Pisces, I'm going to pull a sacred geometry card for you dancing through eternity. Nice. And you've got lovers here too. So there might be some relationship relationship stuff happening with you Pisces in February. Um, you might be moving towards more intimacy. Let me pull a clarifying card. More intimacy in a relationship. That could be emotional intimacy with a friend or family member. It could be with a lover. Uh, but it feels like you have the opportunity to open the boundaries and really connect with someone. I'm pulling seven of swords as the clarifying card here. So... I, there might be some things that you're working out in your relationships that you're 
working out what you really want, that you're working out, sensing someone's motives, um, that you're clarifying what it is that you really desire in order to move forward. Um, so that might be happening as well. And don't get frustrated with yourself if you're not quite sure what you want, Pisces. That's okay. But I feel like I'm going to pull a couple more cards for you for relationship. For in relationships, you know, you might, it's good to sort of see someone from a new perspective. This is a card of new perspectives. See someone uh, in a new light, get a fresh perspective on something in a relationship. Yeah, the moon and page of cups. So it feels like you have the opportunity for more, um, maybe new relationships. Also the deepening of the relationships you have, romantic interests, um, but also could be platonic love that deepens in a relationship. Um, and, and there's some uncertainty. There's some things to, um, to sort out here. So pay attention to your intuition and it's okay. If you don't know immediately, this might be a process, allow it to unfold. You know, sometimes we're not meant to know immediately. So tuning into, you know, the truth of the people around you asked to be shown the truth and understanding your desires, your true heart's desires, clarifying what you want, understanding, you know, the, seeing the, the truth about a relationship. Um, this might be a month where you can do that um, so that you can understand if it's good for you to move forward or pull back or make changes or um, et cetera. I'm going to pull. So it could be a cool relationship um, healing month for you and maybe even starting something Pisces. Pulling some, I'm pulling an angel and ancestor card, white witch, be the light. There's that owl. I feel like you're very intuitive this month, Pisces. I feel like you're very magical. You, I think you could be a very powerful manifester, um, healer, psychic, witch, priestess, priest. Um, spirit, child of spirit. I feel like, um, you've, you've definitely got some, some magical energy around you connecting with the earth, connecting with the stars and you have a new dawn coming. Um, so embrace that. Don't be afraid to, um, to make changes and don't be afraid to embrace the new vibration. Even if it's a little bit scary, we are being blessed with these new vibration all over, all over the planet. So Pisces, that's what I am getting for you for February. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a beautiful month and thank you everyone for tuning in. I hope that was helpful. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'd love to hear if you liked it. Um, leave me, leave me a message in the comments. What did you think? Uh, please check out my website, Creative Psyche Studio for upcoming intuitive development and dream circle and manifesting and intuitive art and different fun groups that are coming up this year. I am planning them and launching them soon. So thank you again. Um, check out my podcast, Integrative Mystic on mindbodyspirit.fm. I will see you next group video or session. Have a blessed February, my friend. Take care.